Namaste, my friends, and welcome back to day six of my 30-day Kundalini Power Boost. Today, we're going to be lifting the energy yet again up into the area of the throat, Vishuddha Chakra, our center of expression, purity, and truth. Beautiful energy to tap into, one of my favorites, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it too. If it sounds interesting to you, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to practice. So find your way into a comfortable seated position. We'll start as always by tuning in, setting the space, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up. Roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open and relaxed. Close the eyes, turn inside. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. And really express yourself. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Making sound from the voice, relaxing into the present moment. One more time, this time we're going to hold the breath, a deep inhalation. Sniffing even more, even more, and hold it and really soften. Soften the face, soften the jaw, the shoulders, the chest, the torso, the hips, the legs. Soften. Then open the mouth and let go. <sighs> Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now, how you're feeling before we start the practice in your body, in your energy, how you're feeling in your emotions and your mind. Where are you? And wherever you are in this space of presence, I invite you to bring your hands together in front of the heart. We open the class by setting our intention. As always, you're free to set whatever intention you like. Or if it agrees with you, you can mentally repeat these words. I practice out of love for myself. I practice with the desire to know the truth. I practice for the benefit of all beings. Allow your intention to resonate in the heart center. Then take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, gently coming back so that I can welcome you. We're going to start today warming the spine with some cat and cows. So let's come into a tabletop position. Knees directly under the hips, hands directly under the shoulders, fingers spread wide. We're moving with the breath, inhaling, opening the chest, looking up, exhaling, rounding, gazing towards the spine. You move at your own breath, your own pace, whatever feels right for you. We're going to do this for one minute. Really waking up the whole spine here, waking up all the energy channels. The spine, the central channel, is through where all of the energy runs from the mind to the body and from the body back to the mind. So it's important that we wake up this area. There's a saying in Kundalini Yoga, a healthy spine is a healthy mind because the better the spine can conduct signals, the better the mind can function. Take this time now to nurture your spine. Take a deep inhalation, lengthen the spine, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead. And exhale, release and relax, come down to sitting. 
Eyes closed, attention inside. Mm, feeling those vibrations as we start to wake up the body, wake up the nervous system. Mm, for the next practice, we'll be doing some alternating shoulder shrugs to both wake up the throat area where we'll be working and also to wake up the mind a little bit. This one involves a little coordination. We're going to inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Then we're going to exhale the left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Then we're going to inhale straight up. Exhale the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. So we're alternating. Waking up this area, creating heat, get, creating energy. We'll do this for one minute. Let's begin. And deep inhalation, lift the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze the shoulders. And release and relax. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the awakening of energy across the upper chest, shoulders and neck. Shruta chakra is also really involved with the immune system. So waking up here, we're waking up the lymphatic system, boosting our immunity as well. Beautiful. We're going to do some neck rolls now. Slow, gentle, not trying to take off like a helicopter. <laughs> Drop the chin to the chest. We're going to inhale the right ear towards the right shoulder and back. Exhale the left ear towards the left shoulder and down. We go in one direction for one minute, then we change. So continue inhaling back. Exhaling left and forward. Nice and slow, full rotations. Waking up the neck, opening the throat. And switch directions, rotating opposite direction, still inhaling left and back, exhaling right and forward. And finish the round that you're on, return to center, eyes closed, attention inside, feeling fine vibrations in the area of the neck, the awakening of Ashuddha Chakra in the center of the throat, the 
the perception becoming fine, refined, more acute to fine vibrations around your being. Beautiful, gently coming back. Next, we're going to perform lion's breath. Lion's breath is a fast breathing technique, much like breath of fire. It's a non-stop breathing technique. Only we're going to have the mouth open and the tongue out. So it's like, <laughs> really like how the dog breathes. You might find your mouth gets really dry from this. Uh, I often find that it's, it's normal, it's okay. Um, Try to keep the tongue extended the whole time and breathing really from the back of the throat that <sighs> and from the belly. The more we have the tongue extended, the more we're activating Vashuddha Chakra. We're going to do this for one minute and then we'll inhale, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. We'll drop the chin to the chest, applying a Jalan Hara Bandha where we create this tension in the neck to lock that energy in the throat. Then we'll release the throat, release Mula Bandha, release the breath and go into our awareness phase. Okay, let's start with one ventilation breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Relaxing exhalation. Stick out the tongue and begin the lion's breath. Deep inhalation, hold the breath, drop the chin to the chest, Jalanhara, squeeze Mulabandha, lock this energy in the throat. Release the bandhas, release the breath, sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Feeling the strong arousal of energy in the throat. Activation of Ashuta Chakra. Enhancing of the immune system. Elevation of the mind. Feeling light and expansive. Beautiful, gently coming back. Next, we're going to prepare, perform one of my favorite practices, Vashuddha. It's an inverted pose called Viparita Karani. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come from laying down on the mat. We're going to lift <coughs> both of our legs up, press into the hands as we roll the hips up and bring the hands to the hips. The idea is we want to create a straight line from the heels to the elbows. So it's not shoulder stand, it's, a, it's called Viparita Karani, where the straight line is from the heels to the elbows. Yours might look a little bit like this, that's okay. The idea here is that we're upside down and all of the energy is draining down the body into the throat. Make sure you don't turn your neck in this pose because there can be a lot of pressure here. Make sure the head stays straight. We'll close the eyes and we'll focus in the area of the throat for one minute. Remember, energy flows where the mind goes. Let's prepare to practice. Coming down to lying, hands by the hips, inhale the legs up, exhale pressing into the hands, rolling the hips up, hands to the hips, 
Straighten the legs straight up. Hold the pose. Close the eyes. Turn inside. And bring all of your awareness to the center of the throat. Vishuddha Chakra. Feel this energy flowing down the legs, up the torso, all the way to the throat center. This pose is very pacifying for the mind. And now we'll do lower the feet over the head just enough that you can bring the hands to the mat to support yourself and slowly roll all the way down to lying. Lying on your back with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. Feel the continued flowing of energy up the body to the throat center. Arousal of Ashuta Chakra. an altered perception of space and time, past, present, and future, occurring in a single moment. Mm. Beautiful. Our next pose for the throat is called the Matsyasana, the fish pose. You can keep the legs straight. If Padmasana is in your practice, you can bring the legs into Padmasana. Otherwise, I recommend keeping them straight. Press your elbows into the mat to lift the chest. Inhale, lift the chest, drop the head back and rest on the top of the head. Really opening the throat, center here, breathing. Focus all of your awareness in the center of the throat. Beautiful to release. Press the elbows into the mat. Inhale, lift the head. And exhale, lower down flat to the mat once again. Laying with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling that deep expansion and opening in the area of the throat. Shuddha Chakra. Mm. Beautiful. We have one more practice for Vashuddha. Let's hug the knees into the chest and spinal rock a couple times to come up. Ah. And coming up. Our last pose will be Ustrasana, the camel pose like we did yesterday. Only today we're going to combine it with breath of fire and use it for the activation of the throat. This is a powerful one because we're going into the breath of fire. So I recommend maybe choosing an easier variation of Ustrasana, the camel pose, than you normally would. Just a reminder, the camel pose, we're on the heat, on the knees. We have the toes tucked or the feet flat on the floor. Hands are on the lower back, dropping back. This is what I recommend for today, is just this pose. But of course, if it's in your practice and you want to go into one of the deeper variations, feel welcome to. Here we really do want to keep the head drop back though. So that's why I recommend going with a easier version for you because we're dropping the head back. Okay, so let's come up. I'm going to fold my mat to protect my knees a little bit. Place the hands on the lower back or come into any position that you will be performing. We're going to come into the pose. We're going to focus in the throat and we're going to perform breath of fire for one minute. Okay, let's begin. Inhaling back. And hold the pose and begin the breath of fire.
deep inhalation. Hold the breath, squeeze Malabandha, focus in the throat center. Come up. And exhale, down to sitting on the heels. Sitting with the eyes closed. Tension inside. Feel that rising of energy all the way up into the throat. Connection with space and time, self-expression, enhancing the immune system. Such a beautiful space of expansion in the throat center. And from here, I invite you to bring the right hand over the heart left hand over the right, drop down into that heart space and say thank you. Thank you once again for showing up, coming to the practice, giving it your all. You've done so amazing today. Tell yourself thank you. And remember working on the self is the most selfless work you can do. So you deserve to say thank you to yourself once again today. Thank you, self. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. So that I can say thank you so much for joining me once again. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know in the comment section below how it was for you. I highly recommend after this class to continue with five to 10 minutes of meditation or deep relaxation in Shavasana to allow this energy to settle. Uh, and I'll remind you once again that if you want to experience this full 30-day program without any ads and the rest of our exclusive member content, you can join our membership at refillyoga.com. Uh, you can start today with a free seven-day trial and be part of our beautiful online community. I send you all my love and appreciation and wish you the most beautiful day. Namaste.